I've said this many, many times, the Corvette C8 is incredible value beyond what any other sports car can truly provide you, and I really do stand behind that statement. However, the Corvette C8 that I have on order is far more than 60,000, it's more like 85,000. Now that spec is going to give me many things that I really feel that I'll benefit from, and a handful of other things that I don't need but I want on my car. But I want to take a step back and look at exactly what Chevrolet is offering us for 60 grand. How fast is a completely base C8? What does the interior look like? And what in terms of items do I get if I don't spend a penny more? And we're going to dive right into that answer in today's video. Let's start with the exterior of the car. Chevrolet offers its C8 buyers a choice of 12 different colors to choose from, but there is a catch. Only 8 of the colors are free, and honestly it's not a bad selection. You have your standard arctic white and black, torch red is included of course, and we now have a blade silver metallic, ceramic matrix gray metallic which is a bit lighter, as well as a shadow gray metallic which is a bit darker. If you are looking for blue, you're provided with a beautiful Elkhart Lake blue metallic. But the color that has a lot of people talking, and it's the 8th and last free color, is the Zeus Bronze Metallic. I know many people are not big on a brown colored car, but I do have to say that there is something about the way that the color fits the C8, and on some incredible wheels you have yourself a car that really will stand out. So to recap, you choose any of those items, and you've added nothing to the top of your car's pricing. I have mentioned this before, but the wheels of the C8 in my opinion are a low point in terms of choices. I have mentioned this before, but the wheels of the C8 in my opinion are a low point in terms of value. I'm just not a huge fan of any of the wheels Chevrolet has provided us, and the best looking options are extremely expensive. As far as the base goes, you have no choices as you're stuck with the basic 5 open spoke bright silver painted aluminum wheel. The wheels are staggered at 19 inches in the front and 20 inches in the rear. Those wheels are fitted with Michelin Pilot Sport all season 4 tires which are run flats. Now let's jump into trim levels. Obviously we're going to be reviewing the 1LT as that's what comes with the base car. For reference, the 2LT adds an additional $7,300 to the price point, and jumping up to the 3LT tax on a whopping $11,950. While it does add some great items like heads-up display and the PDR, which is performance data recorder, and even some extra great camera options, it's not a small jump up in price. So then, what all do we get for the 1LT? For seats, you're given the Mulan leather-based GT1s. Just to note, the Corvette C8 I sat in had GT2 seats with Napa leather, so unfortunately I can't attest to how comfortable the Mulan based GT1 seats are, however I did see them on display and I was able to feel them. In addition, I have done copious amounts of research on many individuals who have commented on the forums about their admiration for the GT1 seats. So I would say it's safe to assume that the entry level seats for the Corvette C8 are plenty comfortable and will work for most people. From a look perspective, they do have a different look compared to the GT2 and competition seats, however you still get a very aggressive tone from them. You do lose out on a bit of carbon fiber as well as your lacking power lumbar and bolstal controlling. Suede inserts are also not available, but I would be hard pressed to say any of those should be a real deal breaker. I do love the Napa leather over the Mulan, but again that adds significantly to the base price. For seat color options, you have three based on the base model, Jet Black, Sky Cool Gray, and Adrenaline Red. Those all come with one seatbelt choice of color which is black, any other option is going to add $500 to the build price. From there you get the typical keyless access with push button start. Driver mode select that lets you change how the car dynamically feels and reacts based on your driving conditions. Here I do want to say that with the base car you lose out on the opportunity for magnetic ride control. You need the $5000 Z51 package equipped, then you've got to scarf up another $1850. But even at almost $7,000, I feel the magnetic ride control system is truly game changing. The system can also enhance the changes of when you select different modes, as it can stiffen and lighten the suspension instantly. Nevertheless, you can live without it, and if you want a $60,000 C8, you have to. Other included features are the dual zone electric climate control, a locking glove box that isn't key based but actually automatic. 
This is a small neat feature that helps to add a small extra layer of protection. When you lock your doors in your car, the glove box will lock as well. I could see this being a great feature if you leave your C8 Corvette parked with your windows down or the target top removed. That way if someone came by they couldn't easily open your glove box as you've already locked everything up. In addition, you get an HD rear vision camera with Park Assist, the traditional leather wrapped flat bottom steering wheel and the Bose 10 speaker audio system. I have had a few questions on this and the high-end Bose speaker system that Chevrolet has raved about and was completely built in-house at Bose for the C8 is actually the 14 speaker system found on the 2LT trim and higher. My guess is though that for most buyers the 10 speaker system will be more than adequate. In terms of the infotainment system, you still get a full HD 8 inch color screen found on all of the models of the Corvette C8. So whether you spend 60 grand or over $100,000, you get the same screen. That screen comes with Chevrolet's infotainment 3 plus system that is redesigned. Higher trims do get the infotainment 3 premium system. Speaking of screens, all trim levels come with the same 12 inch driver informational center as well. This is to be expected, but both of those are big ticket items that don't change by trim level. This really helps to enhance the value found on the base C8. Unfortunately, you do miss out on some other items such as heated and ventilated seats, heads up display, and a few others. Last one to add is you do get remote start with the base model, but it is a 2020 car and I feel like every car at this point should come with remote start. Now in terms of interior quality, you essentially get the same as the highest level trim package. 2LT gets not real upgrades, but if you do select the 3LT, you get a bump up to Napa leather inserts as well as leather wrapped instrument panel and additional leather pieces on the door and a few other areas. But the 1LT trim is a nice place to be. I have some images to show you what a basic black 1LT interior looks like and it's fantastic. The black over the gray stitching certainly stands out as premium. Even comparing it to other trims, it really does look great. You may not be able to have a crazy dual color combo like you can with other trims, but you still get a beautiful interior that has premium materials used throughout. I would say that unless you really want the Napa leather, the 1LT interior is by far your best value. The extra almost 12 grand that you need to bump up to the better interior won't make sense for most people. I also wanted to add that from the research I've done so far, there are very few complaints on the Mulan leather that C7 owners have reported. It's just something I wanted to add that may help in your decision making process. We then move on to what I believe is where the 1LT shines and that is the mechanical aspect. No matter the trim you get, the same 2LT engine which is a 6.2 liter naturally aspirated V8 that is coupled with the all new 8 speed dual clutch transmission made by Tremec. Now, the first thing anyone is going to say is that yes, the Z51 package adds horsepower and torque. Yes, this is true, but it's minimal. You get 490 horsepower with the base car as well as 465 pound-feet of torque. With the Z51, you can add five in both of those areas. Chevrolet says that makes the base car only one-tenth of a second slower to 60. When it comes to the quarter mile, they are matched. That comes due to the fact that the Z51 has more drag from downforce produced by the Z51 spoiler. So there you have it, if you're buying the Z51 purely for the extra power, don't do it. Only look at that option if you want the magnetic ride control system and you'll make use of the upgraded brakes and cooling capabilities. Other performance parts included is a limited slip differential, a Brembo analog braking system that measures 12.6 inch rotors on the front and staggering 13.3 inch ones in the rear. This car does have some serious bite. The body is mostly made from aluminum, which helps to make it rigid build Chevrolet has talked about. They've commented that it's 10% stiffer than the previous C7, which was already a stiff bodied car. Unfortunately from there, every other option is an upgrade in price. But with that being said, I think this video has shown you just how great of a car you are getting for 60 grand. I mean honestly, name me a car that comes brand new from the factory with a warranty that will do 0 to 60 in 3 seconds and has the looks and interior quality of a 1LT Corvette C8. I honestly think you would be more than hard pressed to find anything that comes even close in terms of value. The C8 may not be for everyone, but I certainly think it's for far more people than ever.
I do hope you found this video helpful, whether you're buying a very basic C8 or going all out like me and spending far too much. It is always a good idea to put things in perspective and hopefully this video has done that for you. If you feel I missed anything, make sure you drop it in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, think about hitting that like button as it's the greatest compliment I can receive. Also, if you are new to the channel, think about joining our growing community by hitting that subscribe button. Come early spring, I have tons of incredible content coming to the channel as I will be taking delivery of my C8 Corvette. I also have some very cool other videos lined up that you're not going to want to miss. To all of my subs out there, thank you so much. Make sure you do have that bell notification hit as YouTube is pretty hit or miss on their ability to push out my videos to your feed without that being checked. As always, take care and I'll see you next video.